if we're playing in the key of C, we have those notes. Those are our higher notes, let's say. And so we can choose from them, okay, well, I've, I know I'm gonna be working on six, eight, so one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Each chord has two bars of six beats. So that's my time. That's how much time I have to get in and out and make this work. So, Except if, for G has two and a half. Yeah, I think so, like that, yeah, that's right. Yeah, and, and, and however that's divided out. Yeah. But make note of that because like a lot of times we get sidetracked because we're trying to think of a lot of things at once. Yeah. But you have to think, and it's a pain in the rear to think, okay, okay, I have two bars here. What can I do? Okay. And, but you really have to think about it and you have to think of a melody that you can play. And it, this becomes way easier as you play more. You yeah. just know where to play. Okay, that. So we have one, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have all those notes that we can choose from, except when you go to D. Now, now, do you know why D sounds really weird when you hit it? Think about it, because you're putting this note, you're putting that note into that key. That does not go with that key, right? So that's, that's, that does not go with the key of C. Because right here, the, if you play the key, that note, oh. right? So why is that a part of the D chord? Because it's part of D major, but D major is not in the key of C. D minor is in the key of C. You oh, decide, yeah, yeah you, added yeah, that. yeah, you added, duh. I added yeah. That. So it adds, oh. it adds this tension, which is cool, but that's why it sounds like really weird, just out of context. If you just went, if you're playing. Like, I guess, I can't even get my finger on Yeah. That would sound terrible. But then you go over here. That sounds good. Yeah. Because really what you're supposed to be playing is a D minor. But that's why it's cool. That's why it's a cool chord. But, so like if I was to play like a lead part over your chord progression, I would try to emphasize that F sharp once you got to that. Um, and I'd play the rest of it in the key of C and then I'd like, oh, okay, but we have this F sharp, which uh, in relation to the key of C um, is kind of interesting because you're... That's the note. It's like a, it's a flat five. So it's a really weird, that's why it sounds like, oh, that's strange. But 